But why does Solidus have to Jack. kill Raiden? He like loves him now. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. Really? Why? Why? Why do we need to do that? I was the one who killed your parents. Oh my god. Dun dun dun. Oh god, another flashback cutscene. I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst That's enemy. That's fucked up. Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop, your own double helix. That was a weird comparison, but okay, I see what you did there. It's time we were both free. Okay, right, right, and it's gonna perfectly, yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, he is Solidus. He has the nano machine. Oh, well, we're gonna fight with swords. Oh man, but the sword play in this game is really bad. <laughs> Shit. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Like your nano machines. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nano machines oh. in your cerebral cortex right. and throughout the neural network they formed. That's not fair. He has two <laughs> swords. But we're the main character. This is unfair though. And he has armor and two swords. We have crap armor. Oh my god. All right. So Okay, I have my body armor equipped. Okay. Fuck you! Slash at him! Slash! Do your stab move. I have oh I only hit him once? Yeah, he blocked he blocked him. Oh that was okay. I thought that was a little hit. No. It wasn't a hit at all. <laughs> oh what? This is the Matrix. Oh what rations? Nice. Food! Fucking BRB Solidus, let me let me eat some apples. Oh. Kicked! What's wrong with you? Oh my What the fucking no? Okay. Don't you want the rocket shoes? Oh my Holy shit, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh could my god. Wow. <laughs> oh shit, you almost just killed yourself. Why don't you stab him? Look at slash him! Do your spin move! What? Oh! What the, the hell was that? <laughs> what is happening in this fight? Doesn't playing this make you want to play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance right now? Totally, because the sword plays so good. <laughs> oh god, that was terrible. What's wrong with you? The Metal Gear Rising Revenge is, is essentially like you're fighting just Dead Cell essentially that like child soldiers and they like using them. It's not it's not a very good story. Oh my god. You're on fire! On holy, fire. holy shit. You're fucking Whoa. Okay, that's flaming. Not God, the camera's rotating makes this not. Oh, God. Really? 
Fucking no warning. I'm just gonna do that? This camera is going insane. Seriously, this camera rotating is making this really difficult. Is that the best you can do? Dude, is that really? the best you Fuck can you, game! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this camera rot is really making this hard. <laughs> I did a roll. Didn't even do did it do damage? <laughs> fucking I hate how I have no fucking warning. He seems to like to do it when you attack him. Yeah. Like when he gets back up. Okay, I'm just moving it from left to right now, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my new strategy. Oh my god, oh strats! Dude, fucking Matrix! This dude's got the nano machine. What the? Whoa! Whoa, did, it didn't tell me to mash triangle? I didn't. What? I guess, was... I mean, the game already kind of told you, I guess. I guess, but I came out of nowhere. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Dude, put on your cardboard box. <laughs> God. Oh my god, can you fall out? No, no, that's just shadow. That? Oh my god. Shooting his really slow missiles out of here. Whoa, you. fucking camera rotation. Dude, it's so cinematic. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh, ah. Dodged it. Oh, that does like no damage. He just laughs at you. Beast. Oh, you can block. What? Unfair if that get burned by this. This is where it gets interesting. Shit. Oh, oh. he goes like super. Pa what? He just ejected his tentacles. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Go. Holy Fuck shit! It. Oh god. <laughs> that was bullshit. <laughs> Ow! Right, you have to beat Solidus. This is your last duty. We're not just duty. pawns in some simulation yeah. game, you know. Yes, you are. You're nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Really? Your code name, Raiden 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it! Isn't that like a Japanese weapon. god or something? Really? You know yeah. The code name the U.S. Okay. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you are just weapons to be used. That's me. <laughs> just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game, exactly as you said. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. Okay. Whoa, shit! Thanks, what? Colonel Campbell. Let's do what the. Oh! Okay. Yes, it's doing more damages. It's because he doesn't have to. Oh my god! You, Fucking you no! Should, you should probably. Oh my god. Move the fuck out of there! I should not be on the edge like that. You should probably just hold the block, but okay. Oh, that's right, I can block. Yeah. Oh, God. Ow! Oh! Right. Run away! Holy shit! Shit! This dude goes insane! Dude, that camera rotation is fucking ridiculous. Dude, how the fuck am what? I supposed to move around like this? The ca camera is killing me, sir. Wow. That is. How actually... am I supposed to fucking maneuver? Wow. It looks cool, though. It's so fucking hard to. It... This is impossible! It looks cool, though, man. That's, the... That's all that counts. This dude, like, jump, what? I. I stabbed him, though. Oh, okay. Oh my god, yes! you missed the game! Jordan! Colonel Campbell thanks you. I won. 
Did you win, Randy? I had food. You only followed the orders. I had to the win. food to do so. <laughs> uh, I don't like that they show me the trophy already, because now I know that I won. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Fucking so Japanese. That's Dude, a, there's so much blood. Such a Japanese. That's there's that's, so many spike bloods. That's that's weird. That is a terrible blood animation. That's such you, a Japanese fucking samurai way to kill someone too. Across the back like that. Oh, and he just falls. Really? What a shitty way to. Oh, okay. <laughs> And he dies on the steps of the building or something. <coughs> bye bye, sonny so, boy. Somebody has has like read his lips and translated what he <laughs> just said there. It has to be on the internet somewhere. Yes. Yeah, I love you, Jack, or something weird. Farts. And he dies on the steps or the statue or something in some very patriotic way. Yeah, it's a very symbolic way. What? Right, and why would you... Okay. Ah! So he's a nice guy now. Stupid his body cutscene, armor. His cutscene would look way better if I wasn't wearing body armor. <laughs> that just looks weird. <laughs> yes, it's... It just con... It just doesn't... Yeah. It looks like a shitty equip item. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin, what, help me! What city is this, by the way? Virginia. Is it? This is where this is where they signed the Constitution. Philadelphia. Sir, don't, I don't know anything about. Neither history, do I. Okay? I don't know anything. It's either in, I think it's in Virginia. If it has if it has anything to do with how the Indians got fucked over, no, so don't know about it. Were the, how many Indians were raped in Virginia? <laughs> Tell us about how we stole land, how we stole Virginia from the Indians. Oh God! Or the Native Americans. I'm sorry. For the guys that don't know, which is everyone else, I'm taking a history class, and that's essentially all that we are learning is just white people are bad. Okay, just right in the British. Point. They're bad. Americans. They're bad. Okay. Oh, oh shit! What? What the Wh fuck is? What? What? Flashback? Flash sideways? Raiden has massive junk. Oh it's ridiculous. Who knows who or what they are. What? The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. Doesn't matter if this is a video game, because you learn from it. The experiences, man. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What? What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Oh, fuck. Then, oh, shit. What am I supposed to believe in? This is totally... Oh, shit. What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. In Jesus. What we had faith in. In the subway or something. What we found important enough to fight for. People. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. Dude. You can find your own name. It's me. Your own future. Decide for myself. <laughs> And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. This time? But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah. A clean slate. A new name. New memories. Hmm. With Meryl. Choose your own legacy. Not really. In a better it's game. to decide. <laughs> It's up to you. Or Rose, I guess. And Otacon? As a cyborg ninja. Yeah. By the way, what is that? <laughs> it's my vest. Dog tags. Wolf? 
Otacon gave him those? No idea. He must have, right? How? Anyone you know. Uh. Oh. No. Never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name. And my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. Still handcuffed? Where did snakes go? Yeah. And where did snake come from? Well, he was swimming. Me some good things too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake. What about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. Dude, his his headband is. As long yeah. as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Jeez. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. I like how nobody's this really... This the list of all the Patriots. What? But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriot's identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. Rose <laughs> and what? Are, which Rose has he even like? Have we been talking to this entire game? I don't. It feels like there are like at least two Roses. Yeah. There's like the Rose that he knew the whole time, and then what? All right, this is all I can write in his mind. This what is, is yeah, happening? What? What is happening? She's like, what? Why is she like in all white? Because it's the day they get married. But she's like in a suit. Oh, she's a doctor, Rose. Oh, well, I mean, she is a doctor, isn't she? I guess. <laughs> she's a snake? Didn't we see him walk away? Yeah. What? Oh, Tur it's okay, the he bird. turned into a bird? <laughs> no, that's, oh, wow. that's Emma's bird. Oh, shit, that was. It was. Oh, God. Can I ask you something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together. This is like some next, le oh. next level Evangelion nonsense. This is, seriously, like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the piano music, Sergio. See me for what I am, okay? A fake cyborg computer simulation. Seriously. She's a cyborg ninja uh, dot. I can't have a baby. Wait, didn't I'm not a didn't uh, didn't Solo yeah. to say that he can't have yeah. kids? Yeah, he was like, like she cheated on him. Fuck! <laughs> what if he lied? Oh shit! He may have just lied. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. Really? What? I remember now. Hmm? Wasn't it? Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. Wasn't it some really tall building? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I don't know. I was. I, I. Everything goes back to this point about patriotism and the patriots and the Illuminati. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? Pretty cool game. He said all yeah. living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. Like your experiences. It's up to yeah. us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry, compassion, Some sorrow. Smooth poetry, jazz. compassion, sorrow. We'll That's terrible. Ew. Together. Ew. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears. Or only. 
What? So you just hear a snake. All right. <laughs> I'm in. That was weird. That was a weird proposal. Yeah. That was weird of what Rose is happening? thinking that was a proposal. What is happening in this weird not picture picture thing? Oh, okay. It's a, it's a man. Video. I hope that there's something after this, like Metal Gear would do. I hope that there's some cutscene with Ocelot <laughs> going, hey, hey, we, Yeah, you might have thought that we fucked up in the end, but no, it went exactly as you planned again. And then, Mr. New President. <laughs> Mr. Solid Snake or something ridiculous. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking David Hater. David Hater. Hater. Quentin fl fucking suck, Quentin. <laughs> no, you don't. The character sucks, not you as a voice actor, but it sounds pretty bad. Computer voice? Mei Ling. She was in this game? Was she? I just saw her name. I don't remember. I know, I saw it too. Huh. Okay. Fucking Hideo Kojima. Kojima. Oh, okay, so. Okay, Kojima's the writer then. Okay. Okay. Game design, story setting, plan. Setting, setting research. Written. He's a writer. Setting research. He researched. Is that it? Dude, so okay, so he's the writer and the designer, and he does he did like research on the setting. I guess. I mean, that cool. would make sense if he was the writer. Concept oh, map. Script unit. What exactly? I don't know what that show? means. Oh, script. Oh. Well, Kojima. D oh, wait, no, this is probably. Oh, no, this is probably. Uh, Programming, I would guess, maybe. Maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. Collision data. The New York Mirror. I don't know. The shocking conspiracy, but <laughs> okay. What? They call it the shocking conspiracy. <laughs> okay then. I'm pretty sure if you uh, press start, it won't go to the main menu. It's cool. We could talk about the game a little bit. Not gonna do a major, super long thing, but. <laughs> you know I mean, what? I, I had a I had a thought about this game, and uh, Danganronpa. As I was playing Danganronpa, I, I Danganronpa is fucking amazing. Danganronpa is fucking amazing. But you know what I noticed? The characters are so. There are so many characters that they all have to have distinct personalities. Yeah. That it's very unbelievable. They're they're. In Danganronpa, the characters are not very realistic. Yeah, they're all very stare like not stare exaggerated. Like they're all very exaggerated basic, tropes, I guess. Yes, but like the thing is, like realistically, basically both Danganronpa. G I'm gonna talk about the first one. I'm not gonna talk about the second one. Well, fuck. I kind of already said it, so fucking whatever. Both Danganronpa games <laughs> involve basically a bunch of kids that are put somewhere. And spoilers early, it's pretty early spoiler but it's a spoiler they're put somewhere and their goal is to kill each other to escape where they are yeah. escape to freedom that like the only way that they can get out is basically to con to commit a murder and like after the murder is committed there's like a class trial yes. and everybody else everybody in the class decides who they think the killer is and if the murderer is like what the goes hell? straight up video, yeah. Okay. Good okay. job, Kojima. <laughs> I wanted to see this. So basically, like, they all have it. They all vote on who they think the killer is during the class trial. Like after the trial, they if all the killer's vote. voted on, they die. Everyone else lives. Yeah. If the killer lives, everyone else dies. Killer goes free. Yeah. The killer is if the killer is caught, the killer dies. Everyone lives. If the killer is not caught. Everybody else dies, and yeah. the killer lives and escapes. Yeah. So, anybody in that situation would never make ridiculous, outrageous jokes <laughs> and have this ridiculous, bubbly, funny personality. Yeah. So it's very unrealistic of all the kids to act the way they do. But that's because you have 15 slash 16 or whatever it yeah. is, kids in this that place. That's pretty yeah, they can't, distinctive. They can't all be worried and taking things seriously and not joking. Yeah. They can't all have the same personality. They would be too too much the same person. Yeah. They all need to stand out. It wouldn't be varied enough. Yeah. And this and connects with What I noticed is that it's not very realistic and Kojima 
seems to like walk the line between realistic and unrealistic yeah. because he's he 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 like justifies the realism of the game by all those technical explanations yeah. that we got about like how the internet about they yeah. bring real world examples into this they reference real world things and they bring actual facts in to like justify all this other stuff that isn't real or factual like hey the internet fucking Y2K da -da 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 -da. and because like we believe that so we're like oh fuck he knows what he's talking about that all this other shit sounds realistic too yeah. like all that shit about electromagnetic fucking fields <laughs> blocking bullets I, that might be true it might fucking not I be I don't know but if, Ko if Kojima had just written force field we okay. would have been like okay fucking stop with this stupid sci-fi it's yeah. not real but he used the word electromagnetic <laughs> And so we're like, fuck it, that's a science word. We believe it now. And that's actually kind of the way I wrote, like, a lot of how arachnoid works. Like, the arachnoid itself. I actually have, like, an electromagnetic field oh. on the... That's one of the abilities you get for the arachnoid. It's Instead of blocking bullets, it traps... It blocks out external heat. It's basically like a heat shield. With a, the, AKA uh, like, the various suit. It's basically the various suit in Super Metroid. It basically just blocks heat from entering for a limited time. And I, I just said it's an electromagnetic field that generates for like five seconds or so or something yeah. at a time. But like, yeah, you can just throw words like that. Things Most that's, people won't know. I mean, it's just like, ah, yeah, it sounds like, smart. I'm not going to go research electromagnetism to see if bullets... Well, actually, that would be pretty cool to know, but... <laughs> I mean, since I'm writing a rap, <laughs> most people wouldn't hear that and be like, what? That sounds like bullshit. I gotta research electromagnetism now. Let me write it on this guy's <laughs> forum to show... <laughs> let me cite all of these scientific research you know, let, me, let me make a subreddit of why Metal Gear Solid is lies. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a thing. I don't even know. But I mean, like, you don't really need to, like, know a whole lot about everything that you're doing like in you didn't need to research metal gear solid all the stuff that's in metal gear solid a ton to be able to write it to be able to write this story like Correct. they probably i'm not saying that they didn't but like what you can justify things unjustified things with other factual justified things that we know like words like electromagnetism yeah uh let's go time Ah, I'm not pressing anything. I'm scared. Life isn't just about passing on your what? genes. No. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. We know this already. Through speech, music, literature, and movies, what we've seen. That's our video games. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. I'm David Hayter. <laughs> we need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime, and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever. But we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Uh huh. I don't want this, this stupid inspirational crap. Give me crazy conspiracy shit that will lead into the next game. No! 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 Ocelot, say something. Please. Snake, yes! you there? It's me. I've finished going over that. Oh, thing. shit. Did you find the Patriots list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 uh. people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest. Oh, incursions. shit. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan. They're already dead. All twelve. What? Years. What? Did it happen? Well, uh, about a hundred years what ago. The what the fuck? What the hell? Ah! 
Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Oh my god, save 23s continue. That means I died 16 times? Yeah. Shit. 29 alerts? That's it? See, yeah, Only 29 alerts? Short, huh. Four, huh. That's not long at all. Huh. That's only about 28, 29 episodes. Yeah. I don't know what All of them is. were already dead. That's... Wow. So who the hell is Liquid going to is the question. Where is he going? Elephant. No, that's not yeah. a... That doesn't sound like a code name. A cut above. What? That's like your ranking. That's like. What New do we get? Digital, digital camera. camera. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> the planet. A plant. Oh, the plant. Plant. Okay. I thought it said planet. <laughs> oh my god. What? This is a Mario Galaxy. Really? Just, just a camera. Lame. Well, I mean, you didn't, it's not like you got zero alerts and you get the infinite ammo bandana. Or whatever. No, stealth camo. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Oh my god. Okay, so that's that game. Let me just get to the title. Now it's time. To discuss to play. the game a little bit more. Alright. Because there was a lot to this game. As a writer that, and that as a is, game designer, I that must... That is arguably the worst metal... Oh, I guess inarguably. Oh god, the worst, it's a new thing. The worst Metal Gear, main Metal Gear game. And that was a pretty good game. Yeah, it w I mean... Pretty good. I, I'll be honest, the, the beginning of this game was boring. I didn't like the beginning of this game. It was because, like... What makes this game so interesting isn't so much the gameplay. Not that the gameplay is yeah. bad, but sneaking around and shooting guys in the head with fucking silenced, a silenced weapon. It's not super fun. But, I mean, I know you can see QC them and yeah. shit, but... I mean, I just... I want to just rush through all that. I wanted to get back to the story. Yeah. And that ending cutscene was, like, 40 to 45 minutes. That was a long time. That, that is its own episode. This whole yeah. thing might just be one episode. Yeah. Like I don't know, but... Um, anyway, what I was saying before was that you can justify... Like, all this stuff about... When did this game come out? Nanotechnology doesn't exist, really. 2003 ish 2004, 5... That was like 10 years ago. 2005, 10, 10 years. So, all this stuff about nanotechnology and shit was written 10 years ago. Yes. It's 10 years later, we still don't have nano machines. But we have the NSA, which are we, the Patriots. We do. We do. But what I was saying was that, like, you can, you can justify, like, if you, if you say something technical that you know is, the, like, the way, like, how they, at one point mentioned uh, the Y2K and yeah. stuff. Yeah. We know that that really happened. So when our, our brains are going, oh, shit, that was a real thing. Yeah. So all of that stuff around that, all of a sudden, like, the justification spills over into those things. And that yep. pretty much like it just gives it just gives them more credibility. Yeah, like, you like oh shit, this, this 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 sounds smart. Like if okay, if all of the if all of the real life examples and stuff were taken out of this game, you would just be left with a bunch of things that you don't really know about. That it just sounds completely fictional. Yeah. It wouldn't be like science. Well, yeah. it would still be science fiction, but it would you would you'd be like okay, so this is some weird alternate. This. Because they actually talked about the Y2K incident, it makes you think this could happen in yeah, this, in this yeah. reality, in this world. Yep. So, like, that's really smart of Kojima to do. And that's actually something, even though Arachnoid takes place in the future, I don't want to say when in the future, but it takes place in the future, but I reference things that actually happened uh -huh. and things that I think may happen at some point with uh, our species yeah maybe they so, do a lot of that stuff again in Metal Gear Solid 3 and it's it's glorious oh my god it, it's sad it it all sounds really like it all Amazing. just sounds it all sounds like it's based in like real life even though I mean Metal Gears and shit yeah. <laughs> you know fucking that's, a, that's what I was saying like Kojima really walks the line between reality yeah. and non-reality like really well. Yep. Like 
he'll talk about all this technical shit and all this stuff that just blows your mind and all this crazy conspiracy stuff. And then he'll be like, it's Sna- all kind and of. And then gr- Snake will point to his headband and go, "Infinite ammo." And then like <laughs> that's that's supposed to take you out. Of, that's supposed to be like, "Hey, this is still a video game," but you're like, "Oh, it's, it's still amazing." <laughs> yes. He does that really well. That's so. I'm good. so excited for the Phantom Pain, because uh, you haven't played the. No, the, we don't have a PS4, Andy. It's on PS3. Is, is it? it? I think I don't it is. Know. Well, I haven't played any of the Metal Gear Solid Five stuff. And it have you seen it? I, I saw that Snake has spoilers. Don't for, tell me about anything. From I, promo I screenshots, he has a robo hand. Okay, I actually kind of do remember seeing that yeah. at one point. Okay, he's he's Robo Snake kind of. Okay. okay, okay. Don't tell me anything more. I don't know that. anything more. That's literally it. There's a girl. There's a sniper girl who has barely any clothes on. That's all I know. So that is something to look forward to. <laughs> in Metal Gear Solid 3. Hashtag sexism in video games. Oh, no. Hashtag feminist frequency. Oh, my God. Ugh. Anyway, not getting into any of that nonsense. Not so what yet. So what I noticed was, <laughs> my point is that Kojima really walks the line between reality and non-reality. Yep. Like, really. He goes back and forth, yep. like, really frequently and often, and it's amazing. And... I really paid attention to that as I was playing this game. Like, that was one of the things I was looking for, was realism. They did that... Uh, I don't think they did that as much in Metal Gear Solid 1. I don't think... I don't think so. They talked about the Cold War a bit in Metal Gear Solid yeah. 1. I think they talked about the Cuban Missile Crisis. It, they referenced that, which actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, the Cuban Missile Crisis was handled by Metal Gears, right? I mean, like, <laughs> fucking Russia throwing Metal Gears at America. Del Castro is one of the Patriots who died 100 years <laughs> yes. ago. Which doesn't really make sense in the timeline, but... <laughs> fucking the time paradox. <laughs> so, yeah, Kojima's amazing. Yup. And uh, while I'm writing... The way I'm writing a racket, I've noticed, is it doesn't really... There are a few lines in Arachnoid that kind of, like, say, "Hey, this is still a video game." Mm-hmm. There are a couple thi- There are a couple of instances of basically Snake pointing to his bandana yeah. and going, "Infinite ammo." But not very many because the the situation in Arachnoid, unlike in Danganronpa, where everybody is all they're trying. I mean, it kind of makes sense too in Danganronpa. Yeah, also, I mean, they gotta they gotta hope, try to be happy and with yeah. hope versus despair and all that nonsense. Yeah. They're like they're all in this horrible, shitty situation, and they're like trying to cheer each other up and stuff. Yeah. which kind of makes it kind of validates their happy go luckiness. Yeah. But I mean. I mean, it's yeah, it's not really super realistic, but I get what they're doing. Yeah, but it's not it's not very unreasonable, I guess. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is that like, like the line where like real like realism and non-realism, like Metal Gear is very on that line. Yep. I would say Danganronpa is like past it, past more to the side of non-realistic. Yeah. And Arachnoid is more passed to the side of realistic. Uh-huh. So it's... it's. I think. I mean, it, it takes place in the future, so I'm making a lot of this shit up. But I'm I'm using... Randy, how are you making this stuff up? You wouldn't lie now, would you? I would. <laughs> I made up a, a theoretical substance called Eurosium. And I full, I researched electromagnetic... Oh I researched electromagnetic fields. To prove fields. David... Or not David. Kojima wrong. I, I, re, I did actually research electromagnetism a little bit to write my scientific... My pseudo-scientific explanation of Eurosium. It basically involves... And that's probably what Kojima did. He probably, <laughs> like, did some, like, research nonsense and then, like, just a strap extrapolated pretty far cause... yeah that's i mean that that's all i mean it's all gr- based in kind of reality yeah i mean like how much pretty does, cool how much i wonder does kojima really know about electromagnetism I don't, I don't i don't know i mean they didn't really go over yeah they didn't really go over that very well at all they just said it's an electromagnetic yeah. field and we're like okay there was also one point in metal gear solid 2 where raiden was talking to otacon 
And Otacon was like unloading this crazy, outrageous truth on Raiden. And Raiden was like, but that's crazy! And then Otacon was like, but it's probably the truth. And that was the writers going, fucking shut up. It's This is what we're writing. This is reality. <laughs> we're writing reality. Like, that they wrote that Raiden would be like, that's crazy. Like, of course the readers would be like, yeah, it is fucking crazy. And then Otacon's like, shut the fuck up. It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what part. I think it's when, uh, that's I, when he meets Raiden and Snake. Yeah. Like, just before he gets I think, betrayed. Yeah, I think it has to do with the whole, uh, yeah. just the GW, just... Uh, taking all this data from yeah, humans and yeah, censoring yeah. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think that's what it was. So, I don't know what my point was with that, but <laughs> yeah. So, Metal Gear is amazing, and the writing is crazy. It's re very realistic and also non-realistic at the same time, which is super cool. Kojima rules. Kojima. And we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD at some point. Going to be fighting the Shagohod soon. Shagglehod. That's it. And another thing, that they use <laughs> crazy words like that, that that sounds like a thing that's some like here's the here's the thing I've noticed in a lot of games. A lot of video games would be here's what Kojima goes with Shagglehod, <laughs> with which sounds like it would be a real thing in the yeah. Middle East somewhere. A lot of other people would be like the shadow. The or the dark terrorist organization known as the shadow well i mean they use the, the patriots so but i mean like that that actually sounds yeah. that also works i mean like yeah it, it yeah it sounds like a believable name like another game would call them like the the overlords or something the yeah. overlords organization the masters yeah the puppet masters or something yeah, ridiculous yeah. and they kojima he, that stuff is cheesy he does he's kojima <laughs> isn't really cheap He's only, Kojima isn't cheesy. Kojima isn't cheesy, <laughs> but he is cheesy when he wants to be. Yeah. He is cheesy when he has Snake go infinite ammo. <laughs> and then cheesy when Johnny in Metal Gear Solid 4 shits himself like three times. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, I had another point to make about that too. Well, oh, that Otacon and Otacon's sister both like piss themselves. And oh, all that yeah, stuff yeah. about like Otacon and his like, I guess, stepsister yeah. being in love. Like, like, those are protagonists. Yeah. Like, they're not supposed to have, like, fucked up past yeah. like that. They're, but that's great that they're, it's like, they're she showing character. Yeah, she fleshes out their personality yeah, way more. They're making their characters way more believable by giving just, them weaknesses, too. Yeah, than just being the hero. Yeah, than just being the flawless fucking protagonist. Like who Snake. Has, yeah. <laughs> they could. Well, I mean, Snake is Snake, a clone. Well... So. I don't want to spoil anything, but in uh, some game that we're going to play soon, Snake does have a character flaw at one point in the game. Yes. So. Yes. But, um. <laughs> I wonder what that could be. <laughs> I like that they do, because it, it just makes them so realistic. Yeah. Like. I mean, Raiden, you know, he's just too many flaws, you know, he's, he's just gay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Raiden. They they overdid it a little bit with Raiden. They the whole thing with Raiden and we don't care about. I didn't care about Raiden in his relationship. Like I would have. It was kind of cool when Raiden was getting fucked over by Rose. Yeah, that was. That was like, oh shit! Nothing makes sense. Nothing is real to him. You know, come to think of it, in the end, how they're just in love again. How Raiden just forgets everything. Well, I mean, that's like in his head. Shit's weird. That makes me like very. I'm very what. It doesn't... I don't get they, it. Uh, that's... Okay. They didn't really explain what the fuck was going yeah. on with Rose at all. Uh, and come to think of it, Campbell. Well, I mean, was Campbell, Cam Campbell was just GW. He was just GW that entire okay, time. Okay, right, right. And so, Rose... Okay, so Campbell just wasn't even in this game. Yeah. Like, real, like, the real Campbell wasn't in this game. Yeah. So... What about Rose? Like... I don't fucking know. <laughs> I... Uh, I don't know, but that yeah, is they, for Metal Gear Rising or Vengeance. <laughs> I don't know. They overdid it with the whole relationship shit. Yeah. And it's. I think that there was a way that Kojima could have written it so that it would have been okay. So that much. So that amount of relationship stuff would have been acceptable and wouldn't have been annoying. I mean, it would have made more sense, I think, if Rose was actually on the tanker, and 
pro like there was this whole thing where Raiden tried to save Rose but also trying to help Campbell but then like yeah kind of choose maybe I don't know you know yeah you know they should have all they, of that really here's what it is the relationship stuff was fine when she revealed that she had been lying to him when she tied yeah. it all into the conspiracy yeah. shit yeah so it was fine only when it became conspiracy <laughs> when it became interesting I didn't give a fuck about anything about their past relationship, about them living together, about Raiden not wanting to, her to go into his room because it's all empty. Yeah. I didn't care about any of that crap. That was just too mundane. Yeah. I mean, compared to like, really, Raiden and Rose were just having relationship issues on top of the Metal Gear nonsense. Yeah. And which it, is like, that's, that's, I mean, Metal Gear is way cooler. Than, yeah. I mean, that's way better story than, you know. I want to think, though, that there could have been a way to write the just the relationship stuff in an interesting way. Probably. Maybe. It's just... You'll have to find that out in a later <laughs> game. Raiden just came across as very, like, immature and inexperienced. I mean, there was that kind of thing... There was that kind of thing with Snake and Meryl in the first game. Kind of? Not to this extent. Well, but, not to this yeah, extent, but yeah. I forgot... Mm, Especially Meryl, Meryl had a little like a, Meryl was kind of immature. I yeah. guess. I forget exactly. She was being controlled by Psycho Mantis at one point. Yeah. She was like love me, Snake, love me, me. Or and they she kind was of like, make from love there. to me, Snake, or yeah. something outrageous. And I'm pretty sure you could like, you you could uh drop in on Meryl while she was changing in that game. Yeah. Instead of seeing Johnny and his ass. <laughs> Kojima, you bastard. <laughs> I also really, like, I never saw any of that stuff, but I love Easter eggs. Yeah. I love Easter eggs in video games. And I haven't really given a whole, I haven't really designed Arachnoids levels that much aside from the first three. But I haven't, I would like to throw in Easter eggs wherever I could. Throw so a random like Koopa? Just a Koopa enemy. Just, <laughs> I just totally steal the sprite from some oh like Mario God. World or something. It's just oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be cool but anyway that's do you have anything else to say I, I'm, I think that I've said all I needed to say about Metal Gear Solid 2's story Metal Gear Solid 3 that's, that is a game worth waiting for it will happen you guys you guys should be excited it's going to be a good game I've heard I, I love have, that game as you can as you can hear I have heard good things about this yes I, so I've heard it's a pretty <laughs> good game I mean, it's you know, bad. it's I only consider it to be the best Metal Gear game out there, you know. Only just... slightly better than yeah. Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> but is it as good as Zero Escape, sir? Is well... It, is, it, is it that good? Well... Kotaro Uchi, Uchikoshi? Uchiko Kotaro, Kotaro Uchikoshi versus Hideo Kojima. Oh, that's the dude's name? Kotaro I think Uchikoshi. Ko I think Kotaro... Just... Spike Chunsoft wins. Spike Chunsoft wins. Versus freaking... I guess Kojima? What is it? What is Kojima it? Kojima Productions or Kojima Games or something? I don't... Kojima and the gang. Koji, Kojima and Friends. <laughs> Koji, <laughs> Kojima and Friends LTD. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Fuck it. Spike Chunsoft. They are, of course, the geniuses behind the Zero Escape series, a.k.a. Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, which I have mentioned in, like... I've mentioned in my videos at least like 20 times. And uh, Dang and Rampa. Yeah, the 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors, uh, Versus Ass Reward, Zero Escape, which are the same series, part of the Zero Escape series. The Dang and Rampa series, of which there are now three games, a third game is coming out, which yes. doesn't seem to really. It's kind of like a spin off game, but yeah. whatever. Dang, Dang and Rampa 3 is announced. It is? It it's not well it's not announced but they announced that they're working on it. Oh, oh my god! Yes. By the way, uh, I played Danganronpa one on the PlayStation Vita. Got localized into English. It's amazing. And you should buy a Vita. I, you should guys. definitely buy a Vita if only for Danganronpa, and also for Zero Escape, which is Ass War. And also Persona. And for Persona fucking four. Oh my god! There are a lot of fucking good games in the Vita. Yep. A lot of a lot of J Japanese-ness on the Vita. Yes. A lot of good Japanese. Japan fucking loves the Vita. <laughs> uh, 
America doesn't seem to very no. much, which is shitty sad. Shitty Killzone game, shitty Call of Duty game, shitty Resistance game. Yeah, a, a first-person shooter, I would just... Eh. Like Smash Brothers, I would just rather play on yeah. a big screen home console than a little, a little <laughs> hand. By home console, you mean a keyboard and mouse. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Not a Wii U, certainly. Oh, God. <laughs> Our older brother bought a Wii U recently. I am very disappointed. Very. Di I have to. I need to delete him from my fucking PlayStation Network. How <laughs> dare he? Fool. Anyways. Anyway, but anyway, yeah. Fucking buy a PlayStation Vita. Support Spike Chunsoft. Demand Zero Escape Three to come out, yes. and also wait for Metal Gear Solid Three, which will be coming soon. -ish. Very soon. Very soon. Is in today? Oh my God, no. Oh my God. Probably not today, but soon. That has been Metal Gear Solid Two. That is that. That's what that was, as you can see here. We can play the Snake Tales. <laughs> right in his face. Oh my god! And he has a bandana. He's Wait so cool. 2011. That was the remastered HD collection, I think. HD collection is three years old. Uh, Almost four two. years old. I what? Yes. That's <laughs> madness. Time Maybe. paradox. Yeah, that, wow. <laughs> anyway, so that's what that was, and that's we're done. Goodbye, guys. Bye bye. Stay tuned for fucking Metal Gear Solid oh, yeah. 3 HD. Later. There